Hi, my name is Hannah, and welcome to our hack series where I give you tips and tricks on how to get the most value out of your OneFlow account. Today's hack is all about metadata. We're going to be looking at what metadata is, why it's important, how to extract it from your OneFlow account, and how to get more of it from your future contracts as well. So what is metadata? Metadata is essentially the information about the contract itself. It's going to tell you things like the contract's final deal value, what products your counterparty chose, who signed it, when they signed it, how they signed it. This is really important because this is going to give your company the ability to make data-driven decisions. You can download a list of all the email addresses for all of the users who bought a specific product, or you can build out analyses to find trends between different aspects of your contracts and longer signing times or higher deal value. This is really what sets apart sending your contract as a PDF versus sending it in a browser-based format. This is because when you send your contract as a PDF, you're essentially sending an image. And it's really difficult to extract that same level of data and information from your contracts. And so you're missing out on tons of really valuable information about your contracts. We're going to get into an example about what kind of data you get from these PDFs, but let's go ahead and dive into looking at how you extract this data from your contracts. Downloading your data is super straightforward. You're going to navigate to the document section of your OneFlow account, scroll to the bottom, click this export button, and it is going to send an Excel file or an Apple numbers file of this data to the email provided here. So in your email, you're going to get something that looks like this. Go ahead and click the download link here and we'll open up the file. We'll get into that example in a second, but before we do, I want to show you one last thing, which is that when you export here, it is going to export all the documents in the workspace that you're in. But if you want to look at only a specific set of contracts, let's say you only wanted to look at the contracts sent within a certain period. You can also apply filters here to the left or go into a specific folder. And that export button will only apply to the documents that you have selected. All right, let's look at an example of the data. For the sake of this example, I only downloaded the data for two contracts to keep it visually simple. But of course, if you were downloading the data for hundreds or thousands of contracts, it would look a lot more robust. When you download the data, it's going to categorize the information into these different sheets. The first two sheets are what I like to call the OneFlow data. This is the information you're getting from OneFlow about how the contract was signed, when it was signed, how it was signed. Um, a great thing to look at here in the participants is you can see when that participant's first and last visit was. And so you can try to understand, you know, if there are ever bottlenecks and getting contracts signed, who is that role? Who is that signatory? Or is it internal or external? But the next three sheets are where a lot more of the meat of this kind of data is. This is where you're going to get the data on what was actually agreed upon in the contract. For data fields, for this example, I left it blank. I'm going to make a whole other video about data fields and how to look at the data for it. But then when we get to the product section, this is where you're going to get the information about what products did your counterparty choose? How many of the products did they choose to buy? Uh, if you, the person who sent the contract applied any discounts, that would also appear here. And then form fields, this is if you added any interactive fields for the counterparty to fill out, all the responses will be here. And then you have attachments, messages, and tags. This part I think is pretty self-explanatory. This was an example for a browser-based contract, but now let's dive into an example of what kind of data you would get from a PDF. You'll notice that the color of the background of the sheet is different. That's just to differentiate and show you guys that we're looking at a different data set. But you'll notice that contract and participant data you'll still get, because that's again the OneFlow data. So you'll get that uh, from how this was interacted with in OneFlow. But then the actual data about what was in the contract, data fields, products, and form fields, this is blank. If you wanted to extract this kind of information, you would have to read through the PDF yourself and extract this and note it uh, manually. And that leads us to how to get more data from your contracts in the future. First of all, stop sending contracts as PDFs. If you send them in a browser-based format, you're going to get all of the information about your contracts and all of that really rich data without doing any manual work. And then, of course, add more data fields, product tables, form fields. This is where uh, the juice comes out. And so the more that you add there, either that you're filling in or that the counterparty is filling in, the more you're going to be able to extract, again, without any additional manual work. 
And that's how you extract your data from OneFlow. I know that this just scratches the surface. And once you start diving into your data, you're going to have a lot more questions arise. And I also know that the type of information and data that you're downloading is going to be really specific to your company and even to you individually. And so don't forget, as my last tip, you can always add filters onto Excel sheets, Apple numbers, whatever, to grab the exact information that you want uh, from all of the other data that is exported. And if you want a custom export with just the information that is relevant to your company, reach out to your OneFlow representative because we do have an option for custom data reports as well. Thanks though for watching our hack video. I have tons more to come. We're gonna look at everything from data fields, section rules, contract linking. So stay tuned, subscribe to get notifications of when these videos come out. And of course, comment below if you have any specific tips that you like covered or have additional questions on. Thanks so much for watching.